as you have seen in the video let's start writing code for this line follow robot so let's see the chart and the sensors first so this is the chart which we are going to follow this is the path black line path so we have to follow this line and these are the quad rgb color sensor which are attached to the m bot 2 so now this is l1 sensor l2 sensor r1 and r2 sensor so in this only two sensor will face the line at one time right so we have to write code for this so that it can follow the black line only if you see here we have multiple colors in between also so if we are writing code for black line only so it will come up to here and here it will take turn right or left so there are two approach to write code for this black line follow robot either you can write code for each and every color if you like consider if condition if you face red color then move forward if you face yellow color move forward if you face green color move forward so like this you can give multiple condition for each and every color or we have another option that you can use the condition that if you face the background then move forward if you face the white color other than background then if you are facing the white color on the left side then turn right side if you are facing white color on the right side then turn left side if these two center sensors facing black color then move forward if l1 and l2 is facing white color then turn left so like this let's write code for this first condition which we have to take is that event when button a is pressed for this we need two extension because we are using the embed to shield which is for wheels and rotation so once we need one extension is this and second extension quad rgb sensor because we are going to use quad rgb color sensors also so when button a is pressed then you know we have to repeat those instruction multiple times so that we will take forever loop and in that we have to apply some conditions so if if i'll give my first condition if my quad rgb color sensor status is that the background which it is facing is on the center to two sensor center sensors so it means only these two sensors only l1 and r1 is facing the black line in that condition what we have to do in that condition we have to move it to forward so add move forward at 50 rpm or you can write 60 rpm for a speed so i'll write move rpm uh, at 60 rpm so if i duplicate this condition in second condition what we have to take if background in status 0011 it means only 11 on r1 and r2 it means only r1 and r2 is facing background it means we have to move left side okay we have to move to the left side because the robot is going outside the path towards right side so we have to move it to the left side so firstly take one condition only if r2 is facing background it means we have to move towards r2 only so turns right so see if one is right hand side you have to turn right if one is left hand side we have to turn left this is simple trick to remember so next if colors in status is this that left hand side is facing background it means we have to move towards left next next so these two conditions we are adjusting only for precise movement turn right and then turn left 1100 we need so turn left and one more condition if none of the sensor is facing the black color 
then in that condition either we have to move forward sorry move backward or you can take turn also or you can stop your motor also so this is for the black line follow robot i'll explain again each and every loop so see if in forever loop we have taken if the condition is that only center two sensors facing background background means any color other than white then we have to move forward if right hand side sensor is only only one sensor is facing background then it means we have to move to the right hand side because robot is going to left side if right left hand side sensor is facing it means robot is going towards right side and we have to turn it to the left side so in that you can also try you can write code for try and for, for try and error method using try and error method so you can make modifications also in this code according to your chart but let's upload this code and test it on ember2 so i'll just connect my ember2 to the laptop first so connect it and turn it on first after that click on uploads so that you make sure that you are in upload mode because if you are in live mode it will start executing those instructions immediately so click on connect in this way you have to connect your m2 and click on upload here you have to press a button so because we have added the condition when button a is pressed then and then only run the code so if you press a button to start moving You can download source code for this project. Link is in description. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Till then, like, share, and subscribe for more videos on Ember 2 and programming.